All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys something new about Riffin, like something that actually not many people really use when, the, when you play Riffin. So um, what I'm going to showcase you guys today is the Riffin with the Resolve Tree and then in combination with the Dorn Shield. So let me explain in short. Um, what we have is the classic Conquer page, as we always do. And then we also have Shield Bash with Second Wind in the secondary. Um, and then we combine the second wind with the Dorn Shield. So you can probably already get the idea. Every single time that Urgot is going to poke us, um, we are going to be healing with my second wind. And we're also going to be healing with my Dorn Shield. So like, what happens as a result is like, whenever you get autoed by Urgot, you're basically going to heal back like almost the full amount. So... Let me showcase you. Like, this is the perfect, perfect, like, counter strat against, like, ranged matchups. So, long I've wandered. so, firstly, like, the way how we're going to play the laning pace out is very, very slowly. We're going to be waiting for level 3. And then, once we get there, I'm going to show you a specific trading pattern. So what likely happens like right now, if whenever I go for a CS, it's likely he's just gonna poke me into death. This is where, you know, Dorn Shield and Second Wind's gonna kick in and help me out. Now the way how this matchup works in short, you wanna focus on short trading. You wanna specifically try and hit the third Qs. Go for a trade when Urgot doesn't expect it. Um and um the way how you're gonna win is by sidestepping Urgot's E. So whether you sidestep it or you just become like unpredictable, as long as you don't get hit by the by Urgot's E, you're good to go then. So that's gonna be the plan here. Alright, go for another third Q again. Go for a tray, backing out. Uh, wait a second, I'm not going to take that trade, because if I took that Q, I would actually die. Now we're going to kill him here. Okay, he's forced to flash. I was kind of hoping that Urgot was going to dash into me so I could outplay his dash. Uh, but it actually appears he never, like, he didn't use it towards me. He actually used it to run away from me. So that was very smart from him. I would have actually killed him for sure there. Just come, came back with items. Gotta be a little careful about Fiddle, because he could be topside. Let's see if I can reset the wave. Nice. And there we go. Urgot is not able to freeze the wave down, so we're going to go back to base here. The first item we're going to go for this game is going to be Gore Drinker for sure. Um, usually, if you want to snowball the laning phase, what you can do is go for Warhammer as the first item for ability haste and damage. Um, but it, in this matchup, it's crucial that you go for Gorchen to like first item because Urgot has all in potential. If he all ins you and the, uh, the dash is going to hit you, you're going to die. So Bates is going to like give us the survivability and Kindle Gem, same, same thing. Gotta be careful about Fiddle. So once again, we're going to do the same trading pattern. We're going to be looking into short trading this guy. Trying to become as unpredictable as possible. It's going to queue me here. I'm going to clear down this wave a little. I think he's probably going back to base. Alright, I'm stalled on. 
gonna keep walking this way. There we go. I purposely walked that way so that Cossix could leave the final blow, uh, like the final damage. Taking the final blow of the trait. So I could grab the kill with my ultimate, not having to tank the damage. Alright. Just wanted to ensure that I don't receive the damage from Urgot so I can just safely push this out without like having to worry. Go for Phage. Next item is Ruby. Now we walk back again. So this wave is going to stack back towards my tower. And I'm going to see if I can use that to like maybe freeze the wave. I hope that I'm going to be there in time. Yeah, okay. I will be. I'm going to see if I can freeze the wave here. Okay. Oh, we hold up. We might we might actually get ganked by Poppy because I saw him moving topside. Like they got a Poppy in the jo uh, in the as the support, so I think that guy's gonna roam. Yep. Don't know what you're doing, but okay. I think this person is dead. No, never mind. Okay, let's take it slowly here. My hands are stained. <laughs> hey man, love the content. Hey, I'm glad you do, buddy. Thank you for the sub you gave earlier, by the way. Maxi. Uh, what are you cooking today? Uh, actually, already cooked, but I don't know how it's called. Ooh, nice. Classic's got him. Ooh, my ultimate wasn't even needed. Oh, we're also getting ganked by Fiddle. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you can like kind of get the idea about how this entire setup works. Earth God is constantly going to auto tech us while we farm, and each auto tech we do, we heal up from my second wind, and we also heal up from my Dorn Shield. So in combination, we barely like take any damage while uh, being poked down from Earth God here. You know, as you can see, like we are barely struggling to like face Urgot here. Of course, like I all I like I also know the trading pattern um, based on like experience, so that counts up as well. Oh, fancy! Wow! <laughs> wow, that was a really good one from Urgot. I did not expect it from him. <laughs> that was really fancy from him. All right. I'm not gonna lie though. <laughs> that Urgot flash was really good. <laughs> Alright, no problem. We're gonna kill him right here. I think that what he's gonna do is probably just push it, so I'm gonna TP. Let's go. He uh he doesn't have ultimate anymore, so we can just crush him here. Got him. Thank you. We're trading kills. Awesome. Now we push this out to the tower. I'm gonna make sure to get the uh, the next blade here. I'll place a ward down too. So I can see them coming a little bit more clearly. Because I know where they are standing, but... There could be another person roaming here, so... Mm, wait a second... 
All right, let's go back top side. I got my ultimate this time. We're gonna see if we can kill him again. So far, it's got a steel caps with Tiamat. Ooh, he dashes that way. And we got him again. So, yeah, you can kind of, like, get the idea now about the trading pattern against Urgot, you know. The only thing that matters in this matchup is that you don't get hit by Urgot's E. And pretty much you're settled, like... Consistently, like, focus on being, like, you're trying to be unpredictable when you trade so he doesn't know when he has to E. So you constantly want to be changing um, the way how you, like, approach him with your trades. Now we see if we can get one more camp here. He'll be back off afterwards. Awesome. Now we go back to base. Before we do, though, I'm just going to take one more wave. Which should be here now. Hello, Ergot. Hello, hello. Uh, blue is spawning now. A second. Ooh, he's actually ulting me away. I was actually about to get hit by the deluxe Q. <laughs> Unbelievable, it actually worked out. <laughs> Alright, time to go back here. Let's go for the Citadel. Next item right now is gonna be Hydra. Um, I'm just gonna go for like a snowbally build. Down. Nice. I'm gonna walk around. He's not gonna expect this, I think. I think it's gonna run with this E2. Gotcha. Yeah, you guys probably did not expect that, right? <laughs> the thing is, like, we have burst here. So if we trade him, like, a couple times, as long as we, you know, engage with an extended Q, we can pop my ultimate even under power. We just burst in and we just dash out. Or in this case, we just flash out. As long as we stay within, like, 30% health plus, he doesn't really ult us. We won't really die from him. Oh, we got tower. Get some jungle camps here. My spirit is not lost. Nice. Um, I think that he probably had vision. Choose your own path. Yeah, there's several people down here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello there, Urgot. I can't really wait to get my Hydra. I need like 450 more to get it now. Okay. Well, he's got no W anymore. His E ran out. Oh! You kidding? I think he's probably still dead, though, because my team's going to chase him down. But that was close, man. 
Ergot's down here. Ergot doesn't really do much because this guy's too far behind right now. Let's get this camp over here. Oh, I think it's already taken. Yeah, I'll leave that to my team. All I need is like one more camp though. I actually wish I could get the camp so I could buy my Hydra, actually, but no problem. Okay, let's go back. So this time we're going to go Hydra. And after Hydra, what I'm personally thinking about is going for QSS because they have Fiddle. Probably that's what I'm going to do. Maybe, uh, maybe before we do that, we can go for Black Cleaver against Urgot, maybe. Uh, but we don't have to. Not necessarily. We'll see. How should I proceed? Technically, like this game, we don't need QSS, but it would be, um, it would be crucial still. Because we, we can use QSS for multiple things this game. Hello, Poppy. Gotcha. Awesome. Now we push next wave. Let's get this camp here. Or uh, something we can do. You guys are not going to expect this, but one thing we could do is stand over here and just wait for. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Maybe if we're lucky, Caitlyn's going to walk down here and she sh she might start farming the wave. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that that Caitlyn's going to walk through so I can kill this guy. Uh, no, not happening. Unfortunately. I could try to kill Lux here. Um I was gonna wait one more once more. Okay, this guy's dead. Or maybe not. Unfortunately. They, uh, I'm not gonna lie though, they have a very, very strong team comp in terms of like team fighting because of all the CC they have. Like, we are definitely getting countered by, um, in terms of team comp here. Like, we have a, a, a team comp that can burst, but one thing we, we lack this game is like a proper frontline or a team that can like play against the CC. Like, all we have is just a bunch of assassins in this game, so... I think what we're gonna do mostly this game is just playing around the side lanes, just avoiding the team fights. Unless, of course, we can get something great off. Alright, Urgot's gonna TP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go mid now. They might got... Vi they might have vision. Oh, I messed up my Q. Whoops, my bad. I can still try to kill Poppy here, maybe. Oh, they got vision, okay. There's Urgot. Let's wait here. Or. Oh, that still lands. Oh. Oh, that was on the edge. <laughs> that one was straight on the edge, man. That was so unbelievably close. I should have just been fine right there, but. That was a super lucky Urgot E. So close. 
I've been consistently trading Urga like all game this game, and this is actually the first time I got hit by his E. Like every single time it's been a great success until now. Alright. I think I'm gonna go for Black League here, or we can go for Death Stones. Uh, let's go for Black Leaper and then Starx Gage and then QSS. I'm gonna kill them all here. Got you both. Okay, good wall jump. That's why I practice that wall jump, man. <laughs> That's why I do it. <laughs> that wall jump is so broken, man. Not many people know about this wall jump. <laughs> That wall jump should definitely not be allowed in the game. <laughs> Sub balance, man. We could try to kill Caitlyn and Lux by flashing on them, but Pop is standing there. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> the most useless flash in the world, man. I was hoping that Caitlyn would walk like a little bit more closer to me, so I would actually hit my third Q. But she was walking in circles on her tower uh, while Jin, uh, while Jin Ultimate was active. She just never moved up, which is smart. Thank you for the tower. Oh. Ah, we're not getting the tower. We need like one auto attack, man, for the tower. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, she went for... Huh? Wait. She went for the wave and she didn't kick me away. She decided to actually fight me and force Caitlyn to go back into me. They, they did have exhaust, but still, like, you're not going to win that stuff. I'm way too fat for that. It's not going to work. All right, time to go back. We need Baron now. Derek Skage. It's gonna be the next one. And final item will obviously be a QSS. Like, I can't wait too long for that because one CC chain and I'm basically dead, so. Thankfully, we got classics for like forcing Baron. Now we go back to mid lane. We force the uh, we force that wave. Wait a second. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I knew it. Pit of Six was gonna focus me here. <laughs> I just saw Pit of Six chasing me down like that, man. I, I knew it. That Fiddle Six had like only one thing in mind in that team fight. Oh, that's not gonna work. Violence to end violence. Uh, I'm gonna get CC chain. Oh. Upwatch ruined everything, unfortunately, man. That stopwatch. If uh, if if Fiddle Six didn't have Sonya's there, I would have, I would have killed this fiddle. Who knows? I might have actually also ran there. <clears throat> okay, we got this now. If they continue to push mid lane, I'm gonna TP on the back here. TP on this one, or we can also TP on this one. So let's see how it turns out. I hope these guys are going to continue pushing mid. Uh, oh, now they're walking away. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's the... Uh? But how exactly did I get CC'd by Fiddle when I was literally flashing? Okay. Man, getting like CC by uh, by Fiddle is like the worst feeling in the world when you're literally flashing and <laughs> like losing an entire combo. Feels so bad, man. Drake spawns in like 45. Let's get this camp here. Drake spawns in 30. Let's go for QSS here. I don't have to be at the dragon um, when it spawns because I don't think that there's going to be a team fight here. I don't even think they're going to consider grouping up. Probably not. Awesome. Finally got QSS. <laughs> this portal. <laughs> I love how no one can use the portal properly. Like you actually have to perfectly click that portal to make it work. For some reason. Awesome. So, man, I was CC'd for like 30 years in that fight, man. <laughs> I had to QSS like one of their one of their stuns, and then afterwards I was still being CC for it for for years. Never been able to like run out. Finally, we got this in head down. Uh, we could try to trap them. <laughs> I love how everyone's struggling with this thing, man. The portals are... They don't function. A second. Uh, 
Oof. Bit of ult. Super random. I got QSS again, so I can use that stuff. All right, another ace right there. Awesome. But I think we can probably finish the game right here, actually, if we just run down top side. Fifteen seconds. Until they respawn. Oh, yep. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Top Lane with the second wind door and shield setup. So make sure to try this out, guys. Either way. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.